everyone, my name is Thomas and welcome to my Lettercraft channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I started making leather stuff about 5 years ago and for almost 3 years it's been my full time job. Everything you see around my brand I'm handling on my own, if not considering my two cats as a huge help. Designs, crafts, photos, videos and etc. Communication with customers as well. So I made a list of specific types of customers I met as a leather crafter over these years. I don't want to offend someone, so don't take it very hard, take it with some sense of humor. For sure, I understand that the customer is trying to push me to make his order faster, but I respect my customers and I'm making orders by sequence they have been placed. You can always ask how much time it takes to make your order in current time before placing the order. Usually my orders are being shipped in between 1 to 3 weeks since order has been placed. It looks funny and how it might be real, but not only once I had such a situation. At least a dozen times over time I started selling PDF templates, which you can find at my webshop strhandmade.com as well as my letter. I always add PDF mark on my pictures. In the title it's clear that the listing is for PDF template and in the description at least twice mention it that it's PDF template, not actual wallet. But it's real deal. People for less than 4 euros are buying leather, handmade card holders, including free worldwide shipping. PDF template sales are final and not refundable, as you can undownload and unsee pattern you got. Guys, be responsible with every online purchase. At least read the description of what you are paying for. Majority of these buyers agree with mistake they made by not reading description, but some are trying to claim. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's also an actual customer. Some guys pay way too much attention in life to such small things as the thread color of the card holder. I just can't imagine what kind of decision it would be for them to buy something like a car. But if for any reason you change your mind on the colors of your order, you can change it till I have not started with it by just sending me a message. Seems like for some customers to make any custom thing on any craft is must. What can I say about customization? When I started leather crafting and had not so many orders, I made custom orders. But now I decline almost all custom requests with very rare exclusions, such as switching sides of shroud card holder or something similar. And keep in mind that every craft or change detail, if you make it for the first time, won't be as good as crafts which you have already made in dozens or even hundreds and know every nuance of the crafting process. Some guys accept custom orders, I'm not that guy, as it takes too much time to make changes to design and not everything works what should work in theory. I love to test my designs before selling them to make sure it's a proper product. Type of guy who pretends to be interested in making order for a wallet but in fact wants to be or is leather crafter and tries to get information such as what leather do you use, what thickness and etc. Guys, it's not a secret what I'm doing, you can ask straight whatever you want related to leather craft. I would be happy if I could help, it's not necessary to pretend to be a custom. It feels weird for me when people think it's not obvious that they are not going to buy any wallet but just want some information. So feel free with your questions about Lurkraft. Over time I had customers who are desired to any artisan. Those who really love your work. I mean those customers who are making new orders consistently. I even counted one customer who made 14 orders for Warriors Wallet in last year. I don't know if these customers are collecting wallets or buying it for gifts or reselling, but I know for sure they consider it as a quality product, which for me as a crafter is the most valuable thing. Just want to say big thanks for these customers as well as for every one of you who ordered anything from me. If you like my crafts and would like to make an order, please check my webshop strhandmade.com. That's it for today, hope you liked this type of video, if so, would be glad if you press the like button. Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!